What's up guys? It's Jay, more than I have to kill, and we're back here on our Lollipop Chainsaw Let's Play. And for those of you that don't know what Lollipop Chainsaw is, you can check out the first two episodes. This is episode three, and we are starting the second level. This game is about a girl in high school. She's 18, and she looks pretty awesome, but she has an even more awesome set of moves. She's uh, pretty awesome with the Jitsu, Kung Fu, and Chainsaw. And I put the oh. subtitles on so you guys can see in case I'm talking over what? top of the uh, cutscenes, oh, okay. because uh, sometimes we do have yeah. to do that to avoid copyright Basically. issues. Uh, but that's, that's okay. just how YouTube is, you know? We don't want anything, so we got the cutscene going. Yeah. Let's get right into I'm it. Not a zombie! <laughs> not at all! <laughs> what? Oh, no. Uh, so, uh, yeah, he got bit in the last episode by a zombie. And, uh, yeah. Now he's just the head. <laughs> oh, fuck! Don't get mad! That's creepy. I didn't know what to do! How am I still alive? How am I still talking? Yeah, how is he still that alive? I performed uh, <laughs> a magical ritual on your head. It was really hard. And I don't mean to be a jerk, but I think maybe just a little bit of appreciation is in order. If I didn't chop off your head, the venom would have totally seeped into your brain and turned you into a zombie. Juliet? How? How do you know how to perform a magical ritual on my decapitated head? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, well, um, Spit it out. Some stuff I didn't tell you before, okay? There's always some stuff that girls don't tell weird. you. I'm kind of, sort of, I. <sighs> what? Uh, uh, Juliet? Oh, she's not gonna tell us. Exactly. Zombies! Zombies! Come and kill us now! Say it! Say it! What? <laughs> She is a zombie hunter. She's like Buffy, the vampire slayer. She is now a zombie hunter. And his head's on her head. That's an awesome place to be for him. So let's uh, kick some zombie ass and see exactly what happens. Alright, let's uh... Oh shit, they are coming at me hard already. I was not ready for that. Let's try to just fuck these zombies up. And I guess uh, she's probably like comes from a long line of zombie hunters. She hasn't like really revealed her past yet. But a lot of people was wondering exactly what the fuck was this 18 year old girl doing in the street with a magical fucking chainsaw. And her chainsaw has a phone on it too. Which makes it kind of awesome because... Oh, oh nice. It makes it kind of awesome because I wouldn't mind having a chainsaw with a phone on it. It's multifunctional. It's something you're not going to see at like Home Depot's or Lowe's. But it's something that uh... I think they should go ahead and look into is making uh, chainsaws with phones on them. It would come in handy. There has been a lot of uh, zombie shit going on in the, in the goddamn news anyway, so I wouldn't mind seeing some... Oh, the phone's ringing. Speaking of the zombie phone, how do we answer the phone? Oh, I missed the phone call. Not cool. Yeah, what the hell was that? There's always exploding shit. <laughs> that is not the teacher I've won at my uh, school. Although it seems like the teachers that you've probably seen in your schools. <laughs> teachers are always usually pretty fucked up. Alright. Oh! Look at the low chainsaw attack. That shit was hot. Mmm. Uh, for those of you that's wondering, like, what kind of game this is, like, a lot of people were like, you know, this game looks stupid, whatever. If you remember old school games like, like, Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time, or, like, Final Fight, that's exactly what this game is like. It's just the old school classic, you know, beat em up, have fun type of shit, and, you know, it features zombies with their get heads getting cut off, and, uh, the first, like, five seconds of the cutscene of the game, we see the busload of children kind of blow up, so... That, that really sets the theme for what kind of uh, game this is really going to be. Uh, I, I have heard that the game is short, but it gets really difficult in the later levels. So that looks that's pretty cool. And it also does have leaderboards for those of you guys that like to compete in like speed runs and shit like that. I do know a lot of people get into all that. So uh, would I, I mean, would I pay $60 for this game all over again? Probably not. It would probably be better as like a $35 game. 
But, I mean, if you have extra money laying around and you want to play it, don't want to wait, I, I highly suggest you pick it up because this is, I'm having the time of my life right here. I'm just kicking ass, fucking up some zombies. I'm not worrying about anything. I'm not worried about, you know, KDR or somebody camping or boosting or whatever. It's just old school fun that you don't see anymore. Let's try to beat up these garbage cans. Let's time, let's, yeah, money hides in trash in this world. So make sure you guys beat up all types of garbage cans in your daily basis because that's going to help you out. In case if you're broke, just go find your uh, nearest garbage can and go fuck it up. <laughs> so, uh, there's a lot of students in here that need help. Looks like this last guy that we saved in the last game, so let's, uh, let's go help this guy out. He's getting hurt badly. Oh, no. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, man. This guy is getting fucked up. Am I going to be able to save him? I don't want to not save him because I heard there's multiple endings in this game and I want the good ending. I don't want to have to do this over again to get the better ending. So save him. Get out of here. Get off my purple jacketed friend. I bet you like... If there wasn't zombies, this girl wouldn't give him the time of day. She'd be like, no, you know, um, you know, I'm busy eating my lollipops and hanging out with my boyfriend and shit. We're gonna go grab this lollipop, speaking of lollipops. Uh, where are they at? Any more zombies on this board? There's two more. And there's one. Chop his head off. Ha <laughs> ha! I gotta, you gotta love the dismemberment in this game. It's fucking crazy. Oh, I think I killed that girl. That wasn't cool. Uh, sorry if I was supposed to save you. <laughs> Let's go into here. I fucked up my math test. I need help. <laughs> he fucked up his math test and there's zombies in front of him. And he's worried about them fucking... He's not worried about the zombies, he's worried about his math test. Get out of here. Uh, double kill? Get out of here. You get the split tea bag. Hey! Don't you talk about my tits, bitch! My tits. I'm a strong, positive female influence on this world. Killing zombies, and you're gonna talk about my tits? Get off my jubblies, bitch. Oh, shit! That guy is nuts! Teacher zombies are the worst. Find a weak spot. Uh, that is exactly what I plan to do as soon as I get away from these zombies. Alright, let's see the mule kick. The mule kick is a vital part of my arsenal right now because we don't have a lot of combos, but, you know, the mule kick does work. And that's a chainsaw stand. Downward thrust works pretty well. And Fitzgibbon is trying to s smash the shit out of me with that fucking desk. Imagine if that, imagine if you went to school tomorrow and you were like, hey, uh, mom, dad, uh, the teacher just started smashing me with a desk today, so I chainsawed his fucking head off. Could you imagine that awkward conversation? Like, that's why I love video games, because, like, the impossible fucking happened. I'm sitting here beating the shit out of a guy in a sweater vest, picking up a desk and trying to smash an 18-year-old girl with awesome rack and fucking, I'm, I'm only mentioning her tits because... Fuck it, the other guy mentioned her tits, so, you know, he already broke the ice. Uh, Juliet's hot, everybody knows that. She's a video game character, which doesn't really, you know, lend well to my conversation right now, but um, he's not taking a lot of damage, that's for freaking sure. Where is his weak spot? Uh, that was not it. That was a strong spot. Um... <laughs> I think his legs are his weak spot, because that just took a lot of damage from him. So, we'll see exactly how to... Yeah, the low attacks are doing a little bit more damage. I'm not... Uh, <laughs> fail. Get out of here. Uh, Fitzjimmon probably hurt his knee. He has, like, an ACL injury. That's why his weak spot is his legs. And now... Oh, shit. He's an MMA fighter, too. Watch out. 
This guy is punching the shit out of her. <laughs> Only in a video game can you get away with that statement. <laughs> like, yeah, he's punching the shit out of her. <laughs> he said I'm getting a C minus and called me a bitch. That is a bad teacher. Bad. We're bringing that up at the. Oh, shit! It's a suicide bomber! <laughs> that is not good if zombies are going to be walking around with dynamite on them. We'll uh, see exactly how that works out. Yeah, I think he did too. Uh, I think the zombies are getting smarter. We have to watch out for that. Oh shit, look at all this. Oh, give me some more coins. <laughs> So this is something every kid wanted to do going into school back in the day. It's like, oh, chainsaw to lockers. Fuck this fucking school. <laughs> let's get our, let's get some revenge. School's out. There, nobody needs these lockers, and there's zombies all over the place. So, all you kids that just got out of school, you know, this is for you. We're gonna trash the fucking school. That's gonna be the last thing we do for this episode. We're just gonna trash this whole school. Take everybody's lunch money. And the rest of the school is trashed. We've thoroughly trashed this high school. And I think we have to jump out the window over here where the arrow is. So, uh, we're going to end the episode right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. And as always, look at her jubblies. <laughs> See you guys later.